Thank God, it's 500 uh, bit sermons in the YouTube. The purpose of these sermons is, I think, pretty clear when you have uh, listened to these or watched these sermons. And thank you for everyone who is uh, watching and listening this. And uh, also thank you for everyone who is uh, sending onward these sermons and all those people who are saved by these sermons and maybe have some inspiration to go on. The purpose for these sermons is to uh, give out people freely pure words of God from King James Bible and uh, sound doctrine. Uh, I, I'm not the person who knows everything about everything. And what comes to Bible, I'm still studying it. If someone comes to tell you that I, I know everything, I know everything about Bible, well, maybe better be careful. Maybe there are people who knows more and some people less, but if some, someone tells that he or she knows everything, well, better be careful because I haven't met, I haven't met anyone who knows everything from Bible. Well, it's a long journey to uh, try to find things about Bible and studying and reading and learning it and like Bible says that uh, we should uh, read and study Bible and, uh, and teach the Bible and hold him for that precious truth. Well, that's the answer. That's the answer for people who are thinking about why these sermons and why so many sermons in YouTube and everywhere and so many groups are preaching there and teaching there and, and uh, spreading out the gospel and so on. Well, one reason is that uh, there are many, many kind of Christianity and so on. I don't want to be mocking anyone, but unfortunately, what comes to pure words of God, which are in King James Bible and, and that sound doctrine, which is mentioned in that Bible, it's not a matter that many pers many churches, parishes, etc., would like to preach. I've heard some people tell me that uh, these, are, these what I preach are pretty much different than usually in, it's in a Christian field. I'm sure about it because when, when you have or when I have whoever this King James Bible in use and practicing and working, and going onward with the sound doctrine, it surely is something different. Because uh, some ten years ago, there has been a, uh, not like a scriptural movement, but some kind of movement anyway, who are from one mouth, they are claiming that doctrine is not important in the Bible. So if doctrine is not important in the Bible, and the other one is that it's, it doesn't matter what, what words you have, what Bible you have. Yes, it, it, it matters. It matters everything. Because when you have a sound doctrine and pure words of God, they match together. But if you have something uh, broken from either one or both one, they really don't match anywhere. There's a lot of explanations about Bible matters and so on, and people who, who don't want to believe that book, King James Bible, and the Sound Doctrine, can't ever find the truth which are there mentioned by God. You can try to read many kind of commentaries and waiting for the message from the Spirit or something like this, and... Uh, Many, uh, many churches and uh, Christian groups, they just do that. But are you really sure that you can go on with these Bible matters? Just trusting whatever preaching and whatever teaching and uh, teaching about Bible, what comes to this world and the values of this world and what the world wants, what the world wants to listen I'm, I'm pretty sure that there are in English-speaking world, there are a lot of good 
sermons and preachers and so on, and uh, and uh, especially those who are who love the King James Bible and uh, and uh, that sound doctrine with it. There's a lot of possibilities to listen to them, and that's so fine. And thank God about them, and God bless them. My purpose with this uh, preaching is to give uh, Finnish-speaking people these uh, possibilities to listen uh, pure words, pure, pure words of God, and uh, and also sound doctrinal matters. What comes to Bible prophecy and history and uh, figurative and many kind of matters which there are, which there are, and so help me God. And I don't claim to know everything, but I'm studying on what going on. So help me God. Why I'm using English language to also teaching this and preaching these same matters. It's because uh, English is the uh, most well-known language in the world. And that's the second language I can speak that much as I can. And... Uh, my purpose is to give whole world also these sermons, not only Finnish speaking people, uh, and uh, that everybody who knows English even more or less have possibilities to listen some Bible matters, what comes to these pure words and sound doctrine, sound doctrinal matters. And like I said before about pr prophetical matters, which which will come and those historical and figurative and whatever Bible has in its inspiration. Of course, other matters are also clear. My hope and my pray toward God is, this, is that as many people as possible would be saved, believing on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. And going onward with this matters of God, pure words and sound doctrine, and all kinds of matters of God and walking in the spirit, rather than walking in the flesh or working in the world. There is a so-called trinity in the world. It's a devil, flesh, and the world. And these are working 24 hours at least, and continue their working and destroying the souls of men. And many, many men in the world, many people, men and women, if can say so still, at least persons, if it's okay, who are still not saved. And of course there is, uh, I think, uh, almost every human being in the world have heard at least some part of the gospel or something about Bible. They know it. They know it, but how many want to receive it? There are many kind of uh, religions and explanations about uh, matters and so on that we have uh, uh, one God and all the religions go that same way to the one God. You can believe whatever God, even yourself or some statue or, or moon God or, or your good way or your good understanding, or your education, or your worldly prosperity, or something like uh, success in your life, or some, some ism uh, which you believe your whole heartedly, they can give the future and some good life, and even some kind of salvation, maybe if there is any or salvation in this life, and so on. But salvation is of the Jews. Jesus Christ is from the Jews. There is only one way, one way to be saved right now in this time of dispensation of the grace of God which we are living now. And my real purpose also is to preach the, this salvation for the people. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. God was in Christ and reconciled the whole world to himself. There is forgiveness in the blood of Jesus Christ. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Do you believe that he is resurrected? Are you sure that you are saved?
Is there Christ in you the hope of glory? My earnest prayer is that as many as possible could be saved from listening these sermons or whatever other sermons which tell about heaven and hell and salvation from the hell and some and salvation to heaven to God to live with God better live with God that that live with Satan Satan will take most of the people it's pretty much clear and hell large herself even when people after people after people are going downward there my hope and pray that these sermons also and many others but what comes to these sermons that they can as as they part to be something which can be salvation for you that Jesus Christ is risen and he still is on the throne of God and God can hear our prayers there is salvation only in the name of Jesus Christ i'm the way i'm the truth i'm the life and no one goes to father except through me be ye born again and so on believe on the lord jesus christ and thou shalt be saved for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shouldn't perish but have everlasting life that's the purpose of these sermons that's the purpose of these sermons that people should save and then have a food as good and as much food as ever possible food from the bible the real thing the things which are happened and with things which will will happen and everything in your life with the bible with the words of god this word goes like we know wherever and whatever it goes and how it goes it doesn't matter this will end some day but there is eternity it will not end your eternity with Jesus Christ in heaven is something you are deserve also you should deserve also not the place in hell i know that most of the people won't accept Jesus Christ their personal savior that's that's very sad thing but if i can do something for it this is the best thing i can give to the world i don't have any other things or any better to give only this preaching and teaching about these pure words and sound doctrine matters the value of these or whoever preaching preaching these matters is eternal it's something much more than only something for this lifetime we don't know how long we live here maybe from few seconds to 50 years 60 70 years still or 100 years if happens some maximum i don't know but it's any anyway it's uh, what comes to human history it's a very short time what comes to it how do you live it how you spend it what is your future do you really think about these matters i really pray god that these sermons can be helpful for your salvation and for you to go on with the words of god and understanding them more than normally are given out most of the churches and parishes and whatever congregations etc i also want to thank pekka and his family about all the arrangement and pekka for putting these sermons to youtube and taking care of technique and so on that's that's has been a very great help and i highly recommend also pekka's sermons and uh, gospel messages in his youtube channel for you to also thank you for being with us and thank you for everyone who want to join to listen to these sermons and i hope and pray, pray that these sermons can help you on your way while waiting the, for that blessed hope 
when Jesus Christ is coming back, take us as a rapture, this uh, church from this dispensation. And I pray and I hope and that you also love his appearing. Love, love the appearing that Jesus Christ will come in a twinkling of an eye and it will happen sooner than later, as soon as possible, whatever time God has. Dear Lord, I'm earnestly praying that you will come back soon, quickly, soon, whatever. Please, Lord, come soon, come quickly. I also pray that as many people as possible will be saved before the rapture, when you come back, in all the world, they would say it. And love your appearing, and love your words, and love your matters, and go on with them, and take others with them also. As many souls as possible. But if it happens that this is only for the small group, so let it be so. Quality is better than quantity. I pray also for everyone who listen these sermons that they should be saved and for all their matters what they have in their life. If someone is sick, that dear God help him to get healed and whole. And if someone has whatever troubles in, the, in this life and world, please God help him or her also. And especially I want to pray for those brothers and sisters who, who are persecuted all around the world and that some people make them some harm. Listen to their prayers, O oh God, brothers and sisters who are persecuted and pressed and so on. And I ask you to hear the prayers of all the listeners and their needs and whatever they have in their life. Amen. So help me God that after these 500 sermons I have a purpose Lord willing to make maybe next 500 and as long as I live and I have health and power and so on I have purpose to do to do and make these sermons to YouTube and uh, wherever also I have also, in Finnish language, about 75 writings about Bible matters. And uh, if I have still time and power to make these to YouTube, I have purpose to do it. And Lord, help me in that. Thank you for all you listeners. Be in the blessed hope and under the grace of God. Let it be so. Amen.